And it's crazy because these might be one of the best Jordan 1 highs of the year. YouTube, what is going on everyone? It's your boy AC back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the newly released Jordan 1 High Palomino. And in my opinion, if you should buy them, if you should sell them, or if you should hold on to them to resell them in the future, we're going to be going over all that in today's video. And first up, honestly, this box is probably my favorite box of any Jordan 1 that has released this year. The all black with hints of gold look incredibly nice on this box. But moving into the shoe itself, it is an all black and brown Jordan 1 High. Now, I can't tell if this is like a type of suede on the Jordan or a new buck, but whatever the material is, in my opinion, is absolutely terrible. I hate it so much. And that's mainly because for a lot of these other suede materials, you can run your fingernail on it and it'll leave a little bit of a mark behind. But when you rub it away, moving the suede around it, that does actually disappear. However, on this pair, if you do end up scuffing them at all, the scuff won't go away. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna low key ruin this pair for you guys just to show you just by taking my fingernail and honestly lightly pulling down on this suede or nubuck material. You can see it does leave a little bit of a mark and trying to wipe it away. As you can see, nothing happens. It doesn't go away. It's there forever. So did I just scratch up my pair of Jordan 1 highs for you for a video? Yeah, I did. So if that doesn't deserve a like and a subscribe, I don't know what will. I'm trying to help you guys out there so you know before buying this shoe. But moving on, all the black leather on the shoe is actually really nice and honestly feels a little bit better than what we've seen in previous Jordan ones that have released this year. But am I the only one that finds it insane how nowadays it's more rare for Jordan 1 highs to sell out than for them to sit on shelves? Because these ones were sitting not only on Nike.ca, but all the pairs that I picked up today I actually found in store. And these were sitting guys but yeah moving along the shoe looking at it i don't see lots of quality control issues this pair at least looks nice other than a bunch of scuff marks that i've already showed you before mainly because like i said it's really easy to scuff these things up but the general look and feel to the shoe is what we expect i really don't see any bad quality control at least on my pair now i also got a grade school pair because we do know that typically the grade school pairs of any of these gr releases typically are a whole lot worse in quality so let's quickly dive into this pair to see if the quality control is as good as the men's sizes now unfortunately it doesn't come with a black and gold box it comes with the classic black and red one which i guess that's typically what we expect for gs releases usually men's only get the special box but it is what it is looking through at least on my pair i can tell right away that this one has a whole lot more creases on it, especially on the side paneling and a bunch of excess glue that honestly I didn't see at all on the men's size. But to be fair, this is typically what we expect with Jordan brand and their smaller sizes. The quality control is just really not that great. But other than that, the stitching looks all right. The new book or suede material over by both of the wings logo do look very, very worn. I don't know why, maybe it's how they were packaged, but other than that, Nothing we really don't usually expect to see from grade school Jordans. And with all that being said, you guys are probably thinking I'm being very critical of this shoe and I'm not a big fan of it, but that's the complete opposite. I do actually really like this shoe. The only problem is, other than the things I just mentioned about the shoe, with the quality of like the new buck or the suede it's a really nice and wearable jordan one high now we do know jordan one hype is dying that's why these aren't selling out like crazy because before there was a huge craze for that brown jordan one high honestly for the brown pair it's all that travis scott effect but a lot of people like this pair a lot more than they do the mochas i personally i think i like the mochas a little bit more although i do think these are more wearable having it more black than white the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the gold Nike Air on the tongue. It's not even really gold. It's more of like a dark mustard yellow. I'm, I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. So let's go over to the resale predictions on these. And what do I think the future of this shoe is going to hold? And for a colorway on a Jordan 1 high, you expect them to be a lot higher. But like I've been saying for a lot of these newer releases for the Jordan 1 highs, we are not in the same era as we were before the jordan one high hype is extremely extremely dead the jordan one hype is not anywhere close to what it was a few years ago back then best believe these things would have sold out and sold for a crazy amount but we're just not in that time anymore and for that reason and the economy and how people don't have excess money i don't think 
shoes like this. I don't think any Jordan 1 High, at least any GR releases, are going to be good investments at all. So that goes for this pair as well. Plus a lot of sizes for men's and even grade school in certain sizes below retail price. So if you guys are interested in any pairs, I have a link in the description if you want a pair for yourself if you haven't been able to grab one yet. Now, I don't think these are going to be like the taxis where they go down in price eventually and then back up. I do think this is probably the lowest we will see them. However, I don't think it's going to be a quick riser. But just remember, holiday season is just around the corner. We have Christmas and usually we do see an impact during that time. So I think they're going to go up in price in the next few months. I do think they will go up, but depending on the sizes and all that stuff, I don't, I don't think it's going to go up a crazy amount. Now, if you do have sizes and you want to sell them, what's the best way to sell them? I've been saying this for a hot minute now. For this shoe and a couple other releases that I've done, consignment is the best way to go unless you have local buyers and you can quick sell them fast consignment's gonna be your best friend for this shoe but yeah you have to let me know in the comments below what do you think of the jordan one high palomino did you grab your pair are you gonna even grab this shoe in my opinion if you already have the mochas or any other brown jordan one high you can skip this pair don't really need another one if i had to pick between this one and the mocha i'm definitely picking the mochas even though the actual like black leather on here is really nice i still think the brown is a whole lot better quality wise than this one because like i said you can scratch this one up and it's not going away it's in there forever but it is what it is let me know in the comments below your opinion and nike didn't even give us some extra laces yes i do think black does look the best but they could have at least given us some extra laces considering the price on these things. But yeah, I guess what can you really expect from Nike? But with that being said, thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. And with that being said, thank you for watching to the end, and I'll see you guys in my next video.